Hello and welcome back to Persona 3 The Answer. We have two tasks this time. First of all is to grind a little bit, just to get a couple of people a couple levels higher. Most notably, we want Yukari to get one level higher because that gets her access to her medium level AoE heal, which means that her, A her AoE heal will actually be able to heal everyone pretty much to full health, which is obviously uh, preferred over what's been happening. So, that huge thing for us to get. Um, who else have we got? How about you? What do you get next? Yours is like 46? 47? Uh, so you get Herculean Strike at 45, so that might also be worth grabbing. Um, I don't really know what it does, but I'm assuming it's a different damage type, which might be useful. I don't know. It might be AoE, which could also be useful. Um, trying to think how I would get her to use it. I guess I would tell her to conserve SP. Potentially. Anyway, uh, and then we get Matarunda, which lowers attack, which could also be useful, but involves us leveling up a lot more. In fact, if we were to get Matarunda, that probably means we're getting Yukari to her next ability as well. So there's potential there. There's potential. Also, we could earn money and upgrade our personas and all that sort of stuff, which will all be good as well. So. Uh, let's just make sure we have a persona on. Uh, Quetzalcoatl is fine. And now we'll go. Although I should also do a save just to check it's working. Yep, there we go. Right. I'll take the fight. I'm surprised that was in range, so sure, we'll do that. Uh, I remembered what these guys were weak to last time and I've forgotten now. Was it wind? I don't think it was wind. Was it wind? Let's see. No, it was electricity. Yep. In my head, I was like, and it knows weak to something. Hmm. Yeah, you need to go back to um, full assault. Good to know. Not hitting the uh, ones that reflected that. Good, good move. Oh, it's just physical, of course. You see, I remembered it last episode. This episode is completely out of my mind. Um, there we go. Hopefully, uh, we will remember from now on. There we go. It's another crit. Very surprised. Well, a week, but you get the idea. Uh, let's scan that guy. And then I'm going to shoot you. What? I've never heard that voice line from her. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, shoot. I have never heard that before. That is, um, that is a weird line. I mean, I get it, but, um, it's just, so, it's just odd. I'll be honest, it's a little odd. Hey, we got a scan. Okay. You know what, I guess it does make a level of sense, because it's famously said by a robot, right? And I guess is a robot. Mm, yeah, I can see how they um, they went with that one. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was trying to think if there were any other links. I guess if it's only for the answer, it's also a robot involved in time travel, which would be interesting. Anyway, yeah, we get Magarula at 46, which is, um, of course, before Akihiko gets the lower attack on everyone. Do we just grind to 47? I'm starting to think that's not a bad idea. The amount of XP per level is pretty low, honestly, given the XP we're getting. Um, like, if we find a red enemy, we can get, like, 3,000 XP a fight. Yeah, I think we're fine. Especially if we find, like, a bonus floor as well. That would be really nice. Yeah, let's just go for it, then. Let's go to 47. Um, yeah, that's a single enemy. I don't really want to fight single enemies. Because they tend to be tougher and they don't tend to give you a ton of XP. Uh, what are you weak to? Don't know. Okay, so shoot. Okay. <laughs> shoot it. Cool. This is fine, it's just making it stand up. He won't get another turn. Scan going off? I guess it'll go off, to, off after this. And that's a kill. And an extra turn. Well, after this, I would say. Good damage. It's weak against ice. Use uh, ah, we must have found that previously. So I was thinking, didn't we hit a weakness? But we must have been leveling Black Frost or something at the time. That makes sense. 
Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot it. Cool. <laughs> also, I love how I said I haven't heard this line before, and literally every single time she says it now. Uh, we can take Hannah, man. That's the uh, far left. Third slot. Last slot. Cool. That's okay. Yeah. See, that was like a thousand XP for a fight that really wasn't that difficult, and it was a base basic fight. Uh, without boosted XP as well, we didn't even take the XP card. So, I think that, yeah, we're, we're going to level up very quickly. Because if we only need 7,000 to level, let's say we got 1,500 from that. We're not talking like a ton of fights. Alright. Okay, well we missed one. That's fine. Now she's going to knock down the other one. Oh, she got an Enrage on that one. Interesting. I think that means it takes extra damage. I don't think it's auto crits on Enrage, it's just extra damage. Which is good. There we go, 361. And then, that one's almost down. Uh, I don't think we have Hammer on anyone, so we can't actually kill this in one hit. If you could uh, shock it, that'd be great. Didn't get it, okay. Uh, we don't have hammer on you, do we? No. So the question would be, do we have hammer on Kukulain? No. And those are the only two I really care about. Hanuman? Mm, no, although he does have the ability to res. That's intriguing. We might keep Hanuman around then, if he has the ability to res, or at least make sure we pass that on. Um, I can shoot it, right? Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm not that worried about it. We'll kill it before it gets a turn, probably. One hit. There we go. Should also get um, Akihiko or uh, Yukari to heal us. That'd be nice. Hey, we leveled up. So 44. Great news. Love to see it. Um, Akihiko, can you level us? Not level us. Heal us. Literally just saying the last thing that happened instead of what... Uh, I should be saying. Uh, this is fine. There is... Oh, shoot. Oh, that's fine. It's still going away from us. Um, I was going to say, there is a bit of logic in grinding on this floor and then going up again. Uh, it's potentially okay. Let's do this. Right. That's fine. You're going to hit one. But yeah, if we grind on this floor and then head up from this floor, we can get full uh, healing and then grind with full healing and SP. And we can potentially go to the shop or something. There's options. Okay. Nice. Okay, he's gonna do it again. That's fine. Did we scan it? We did. Okay, just weak to electricity. Uh, and what are you weak to? Fire. Okay, well, I'm gonna shoot you then. That's fine. We're not too worried about actually, um... Yeah, we're not too worried about getting the last hit. We'd much prefer to get the XP on the correct target. Which is what we're doing right now. Okay, one more hit. Just minorly annoying. It's only, uh, boo -foo. It's not Bufula. Yeah. Okay, cool. A little bit of XP. See, I mean, even fights like that, that only get a 793. Like, it was 7,500 uh, for, for a level. So it's only 10 of those and we level up. So it's not like it's that bad. Uh, let's do the single fights that I skipped. Because if we're going to head back down, we might as well get all the XP we can off the floor. There we go. Uh, also, we can find out what these guys are weak to if we run into them. Shoot it. Not a lot of uh, damage there. I was going to turn her to full assault, wasn't I? Oh well, I can leave her where she is. I suppose acting freely is fine. Fire. Okay. It might be worth switching to kill this one. Mainly because this one seems like it'll be quite annoying. Um... How much did we do? 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to Black Frost for this one, just because I I think that this um, is an annoying fight. So we'll take half XP on Quetzalcoatl here. That's fine. Although we might get more XP if I take the um, Shuffle Time card. Okay. We didn't kill it though. That's the other problem. We will kill it if we get another uh, round of attacks, but we'll see. Our uh, party might kill it. There's Karula. If they could leave it really low, that would be our, our ideal situation. Like, just don't kill it quite. Like, yeah, don't quite kill it. Perfect. On which case, I'll just switch back to Quetzalcoatl and shoot it. There we go. Wonderful. I can sense your determination. And I would like... Ooh, uh, I'd like uh, Natataishi, the first one. Although it doesn't matter, but is the is that one I want? This is another thing to fuse. But yeah, that had no 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 bad one. Uh, get us some healing. Cool. Uh, is it this way? I think it's this way. Back the way we came. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good fight. Turn around. Well, there's another one there. I see it. That's gold. Ooh. Okay, we'll grab the gold one in a second. Weak to fire. Wait, uh, ice. Okay, do I? Uh, I don't have any wheat ice, but I do have a Mabufu gem. Honestly, I'll use it here, and this will convince me not to use it in the combat. <laughs> Which, um, I actually don't think it was the best decision on any of the times we used it. I think it delayed the combat, but I think it was the wrong decision every time. That was easy. Ha having thought about it a little bit. Uh, I'll take the XP, middle one. Fourth one. This one. 1,500 XP. Huge, huge. That's a level up from Metis. She gets her next thing, next level. Oh, shoot it! Okay, I saw it before it could see us around the corner. Okay. Nice. That was amazing. That's a, a supreme coin, not a treasure coin. So that might be worth more than 10,000. Huge. Uh, on a golden chest? This is amazing floor. This is potentially the best floor. Two enemies. You surprised them. Ice and... I can't remember. Fire. Okay. Uh, I just, I'm just gonna shoot it. That's fine. Kukula. Hey, she can hit weakness. I forgot. Okay, and then she's gonna do it again, or ah, just to sit. There's Garula. Nice damage. Now just don't kill it. Which should be possible. Perfect, and that gives us the kill. That's what I like to see. Good job. Shuffle time. Um. Yeah, we can take the one on the left. I've forgotten what it is. Is it Vasuki? Second slot. Last slot. Vasuki. Yeah, cool. I think Vasuki has poison moves from memory. Not sure. Eye of Flame. Okay. We got one of these previously, didn't we? This exact same item. Uh, yes. Higher chance of dodging fire attacks. Really good for Mitsuru, who we do not have with us. I'm guessing you're meant to take like Mitsuru and the dog on this one, because they mention the dog a lot in the dialogue. So Mitsuru, dog, and then Yukari probably for the um, wind. Oh no, you would take Metis for wind, yeah. That's who, probably who you're meant to take into the uh, fight, but it doesn't really matter. You're all weak to wind, perfect. Hit him. Wonderful. Let's go. So we hit them all. And they're dead. Nice. Solid amount there. Um, let's get the XP. Second slot. Third slot. There we go. 1,500. Good. It's a level up for Akihiko. 
Uh, what level does that make him? That makes him 44? 44, okay. So he's three levels off. He should be the lowest level because he missed um, two boss fights. You're 45, you're 43. Wow, you're even, you're in an even lower level. That's crazy, okay. So though he missed um, boss fights, he must have missed uh, a lot more out in terms of actual XP. And then you get your next one in like 5,000. Okay, cool. Just checking where we're at. I think we've killed all the enemies on the floor. At least all the base enemies. You can force them to respawn. I say force like it's some kind of exploit. I mean, if you run back and forward, they will respawn eventually. Or I think death might be able to spawn on any floor. But he spawns like quicker on the other floors? I can't remember. We've, we've never actually been on the floor long enough to find that out, but essentially, like, there's no real point in hanging around. We would be better off leaving and going back in if we want to get, to get more enemies to spawn. Right. Uh, yeah, this is the right place to go. I was thinking whether I wanted to go to the Velvet Room first, but actually I do want to go here to sell the Supreme Coin and see how much money we get. Oh, we got new things? Oh, cool. Uh, let's sell the... Oh, you can sell the Eyes of Flame, because they don't mean anything to me. Yeah. Uh, and the Frenzy Beads, because they're terrible. Um, and the Life Ring, honestly, I don't think we need it. Um, I can sell any of these that I'm not using, because the only people who can use them are Metis and Igus, so therefore, like, we're not going to swap between them. Uh, same kind of logic here. I can sell anything that's like uniquely Metis or Igus. Uh, anything else like I might want to keep, but like uh, anything that's just for them, I might as well sell because I've already got a better one. Um, we should already have something on him, so let's sell that. Sell that. Uh, I can sell my heavy axe as well. The rest I can keep for right this second, and then I can sell the Supreme Coin for 25,200. Why? <laughs> Why is it that number? That's weird. Anyway, um, let's see what we got. So we got Claymore's Sin Blades, Composite Bow, it's 190. 190 for Yukari. It's an upgrade. Don't get me wrong, it's an upgrade. Um, we can get the Megaton Rod, which is 213 for Metis. That's a pretty big upgrade, and he's a physical attacker. And then crit rate low. Okay. These aren't huge damage. Let's have a look at... Um, where are we? At Akihiko. 153 versus 178. That's not as big an upgrade. Uh, and then Medusa, which is two, uh, 204 for us. Uh, where are we? 204 is pretty good. I can only buy one, though. I would much rather buy this one. Yeah, let's buy it. For our money! There's all our money. Okay. Now I can go give it to Metis. Because Metis is our physical attacker most of the time. She's also our main damage dealer, so she should get the first um, shot at any kind of equipment that does damage. Uh, she's also hiding in the corner this time. I mean, we could be the main damage dealer. We could always like mix things up and try and make it happen, but we always tend to do a little bit more of the um, like generic things in the party, like either healing or applying status things or any of that sort of stuff and the reason why I tend to place myself in that role is it's really easy to tell the AI to attack each turn right it's really hard to tell the AI now you need to use me Patra to remove the uh, like deep uh, remove the debuffs from all of your um, allies they're just not very good at that so that's fine I mean they're not even very good at healing but I mean we've worked around it Hello, I like to fuse some personas that I got here. Uh, Vasuki. I didn't even look at these guys. Mahama. What is Rikarmdra? Is that the full heal? No, the full heal is uh, Samur. Is Samurakarn? It's. Uh, 
So, yeah, it's Sam Rikarm. I think it's that one. So, Rikarmdra must be AoE res? Huh. That's intriguing. You know what? You know what? It's so intriguing that just so we don't go down the wrong road here, let me uh, just look up what Rikar Rikarmdra does. Rikarmdra. Oh no, it does not do what I wanted it to do. Oh, this is much worse. Rikarmdra reduces the user's HP to 1 instead of killing them outright, since the protagonist is the only party member capable of using the skill, and then being knocked out equates to game over. What's it do? Sacrifices the user's health to heal one or more allies. Uh, why? I mean, I get why. It's, it's the... I'm gonna give up my health to heal everyone else, and then someone else can heal me back up to full, but like... Yeah, that's not good. I'm just scrolling down to see if I can get a specific on it. No, there's no real specific numbers, as, as is common. No, it's just, um... It, it's terrible. Okay. Um, at least, I think it would probably be more useful if we could control the other party members. Then we could do some cool stuff with this. Right now, no. You get Masuku Kaja, which is less likely to be used, and you get Regenerate. So I don't think either of these are needed. Hanoman, you do get a res. I think passing a res on is useful. Let's see who he can make uh, things with. He can make Dominion. Okay. Dominion is a level 42, gets Rakarm, has uh, Light as a damaging move. We would be losing you and you. Honestly, seems fine to me. Th this seems fine. This seems like a good persona to fuse at this point in the game. It has a very simple purpose. If they're weak to light, he can kill it. If uh, we have a party member dead, he can res them. That is the entire purpose of that character. Okay. Uh, Vasuki. Mm, we can make a Rangda here. I don't think that's the play. No. Make a Taraka. Mm, I also don't think that's the play. Although it would learn Rekarm, which is kind of funny. Ah, from Queen Map, who I forgot had Rekarm. That would have been useful. Hmm. What can Dominion make? A Komu Kutin out of Floris. Hmm. It is better. As to Kaja. Oh, Fluris does have that item. I mean, the problem is we're never going to level it, and there's no incentive for us to level it, apart from getting that item. Uh, this loses us our light move, but I'm also not that worried about it. I think I might make him. Yeah. Uh, let's make him. It gets Fluris out of our party as well. It's good to get the lower level ones out of your party, even if you're not going to use the persona you fuse from, because... If you keep the low-level ones in your party, eventually, they're only going to be able to make other low-level personas, and you're going to end up in the situation where you have an Impusa in your party and everyone else is double their level. I, I wouldn't be in that situation myself, obviously. I'm far too uh, good at planning ahead to fall into that kind of problem. Right, let's do some triangle spreads. So, let's see what we get here. Dominion. Ubelarus. Okay. Uh, yeah, none of them. At least not yet. Make another Quetzalcoatl, except we can't, because you can't double up. Yeah, everything appears to be level 45, unfortunately. We could make a Gurmakala, which is 42. It's a lower level. It's, it has two weaknesses, but it would allow us to get rid of some things. There's not really a great reason to do it, other than I'd like to clean up my inventory. What can we make out of these three? We can make an Incubus. Uh, I'd rather not. Honestly. Like, I don't really see the benefit of making Incubus. I guess it means I can get Vasuki again. What, what, what am I saving on Queen Map? Not Rikarm anymore. Really nothing. Rick, um, Queen Map has nothing I'm going to use. So I might as well create this so I confuse other things later. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Right. That leaves us with these. Incubus can only make two things currently, but that's okay. Uh, let's check out our triangle spread with Incubus and people. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really interested in any of that. That's fine. Okay. We didn't actually improve that much, but we have got space for more personas. We can re-get all the personas that we just lost for all the high-level ones. Yeah, in fact, yeah, we have no high-level ones apart from Black Frost that, um, yeah, that uh, we've been seeing, so yeah, we can grab them again. Right, back down. Again, our level is 47. That's what we're aiming for, level 47. Right. Let's go. Um, also, her club now has just spikes in it, which obviously means it does more damage. Also, um, we're guaranteed to get a golden chest here. Uh, the golden chest is going to have an item from Metis, and it's going to be like slightly worse than the item that we bought, but still much better than our previous item to make us feel bad for having used the shop. That, that's, of course, a joke. It's not going to happen, but it has happened before. <laughs> Right, let's go. Easiest fight we could ever want to start off with. I'll take it. Good job. Right, shuffle time. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take the uh, Raja Naga, but I'll take the XP. It is really hard to give up triple X. Um, oh, I was gonna say the um. I was going to say triple XP, it's only double XP, I think, for the level 5, but still, it's very hard to give it up. I can get it anyway. Earth Badge is heal after combat, yes, I think? My skill level has Hello. Um, I think Earth Badge might be what you have on. No, you have Land Badge. Is Earth Badge better? Earth Badge better? Yes, little is better than tiny. So instead of 6 health, she'll heal whatever that one gives. I mean, that's an upgrade. I'll take it. We didn't get what I wanted, which was XP, but I'll, I'll take an upgrade. I want XP off of this fight, whatever it is. Alright, it's these three. The weak to nothing. Magarula. Let's hit him. Let's do as much damage as possible. Oh, okay. She's charming one. Really would prefer if she attacked, honestly. Okay, maybe Cool Assault is the move. Mazionga. Hey, we got a shot. Uh, I'm going to Tactics Metis to Cool Assault. These are the ones that heal off of this, right? Yeah, so I can't hit them like that. Uh, let's go Magarula. I don't think that gets rid of shock, so we should be fine. It should just allow... Uh, Metis. Oh, they recovered. I was going to say she'd allow Metis to get a crit, but it didn't. Because it ran off. That's fine. She gets 14 health now. That's not bad. Yeah, that's very reasonable. And we have a kill. There's a Magaru. They might end up healing each other here. Let's do Magarula. If they end up healing each other, it's not the end of the world because, um, I mean, they haven't done anything else with their turn, basically. Hey, only one of them could heal. Wonderful. Costs, um, 47, I think, to use Fatal Edge there, or whatever it's called. Okay. That's fine. Um, and then she ends up with that much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, so it's effectively like taking a quarter off the cost of her uh, move, which is not too bad. Right, Zionga. Didn't get a shock, but that's okay. Fatal end, that's it, yeah. I'm now, I'm now calculating what she was at. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Oh, that's a cool heal, that's horrible. 
Well, we can keep doing this till we get shot. I guess. 187 down to 140. So yeah, it's 47. So instead of 47, effectively is costing her um, 33. Which is not too bad. I mean, there's not a lot we can do. We could switch Persona to do nothing. But, you know, whatever. We'll just do this and hope that they don't heal. Right. Or we get a crit. A crit would be lovely. If you could just crit, that would be really good. Yukari recovered. And now she uses a heal. I was like, oh, now she can attack. No, now she heals. I recovered. Now I can attack. We have to use our AoE attack, unfortunately, but it's not like we're running to the boss on this run. That's blocked. Wonderful. And now this is the kill. Good. I'll do my best until the fifth. We did get a shuffle time. Uh, oh, level six item. I'll take it. First slot. Last slot. This slot. Gamma Storm? Huh. What is Gamma Storm? Is that something I can equip? It is. Ooh, instead of four strength, it's four magic, and the accuracy is higher, as is the attack. Ooh, that's nice. That also means that all of our attacks, that all of our um, elemental attacks will do more damage. That's really good. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty solid upgrade. Oh, turn around. Don't, don't come towards us. Other way now. Perfect. Shoot it. It's back to looking more like a normal gun. Um, honestly, again, I'm just going to use the Mabufu gem. It, it saves us precious time. If I really need Mabufu gems, I can go and get Mabufu gems. But the fact that I don't feel the need to get any more Mabufu gems should tell us everything we know about hoarding Mabufu gems. I would like XP. Second slot. Last slot. But then it went up second, so it's second slot. Nope, lost it. Okay, went up third. Quetzalcoatl well, leveled up, which gets us Garudine, which means we have a very, very powerful single target wind move, which we didn't have previously, which is huge. This will make doing that boss fight that we were on so much easier, because we have a move that actually does damage to a single target. Specifically, the single target that's weak to that move. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you give us a little heal? Okay, cool. How's everyone's level looking? I know I check every 10 seconds, but that's because there's not an easy way to check this. 2.4. Okay, so that means everyone else isn't close. That's fine. I wanted to get that as a surprise, but I'll take it. Um, there are three strong enemies. One of those. Magaru. Okay. Reasonable damage. Magarula. Honestly, a fine damage type for us. Yep, that's fine. Get. I stun. We didn't get stun. Okay. That's fine-ish. She's going to use Fatal End. Almost would have been better had she um, been hit by Tintarafu because then she would... Um, yeah, th then she would not be able to use uh, like Fatal End and lower her health. But I'm just going to turn into her Ogea mode and then she can do damage. That, se that seems like a better way of playing this fight. I think she could kill them all in Ogea mode. Okay, that's fine. We're strong against that. Not an issue. Still He's almost alive. killed one. That's fine. And then she's gonna kill the one that's on no HP. Yep. Pass. There's my Garu. Nice. Magdalula. Again, an okay damage type for us. She's again gonna use her 
powered up mode to just hit it for one HP. <laughs> All right, whatever. At least she's hitting it. My attack reverted, and I recovered. I can hit it. Uh, let's use Garudine. He can actually hit it for heavy damage now. A solid damage. Akihiko recovered. And he got the kill. No shuffle time this time, but still 1,200 experience. We'll take it. Okay. That's the end of the road there. Oh, um... Yeah, why don't you heal us? You've been uh, not using your SP, so... I think it's fine for you to heal us here. Although he is actually almost out. Wait, how is he almost out? He got hit by every Tintarafu. Which meant he couldn't use his SP moves. I guess he just doesn't have a really large SP pool. Which probably makes sense, given that, you know... He doesn't really use magic moves outside of his buffs and debuffs. I suppose he does use the electricity move, but wh whatever. You get what I mean. Anyway. He, he's, he's not um, in the same league as someone like Mitsuru or uh, Yukari who has to use all the time. Right. He will go in and use his physical move. Mm, don't kill it. Thank you. Kill it. Nice. Shuffle time. That was easy. Uh, Vasuki. First slot. Okay. I mean, it gives us another thing to fuse out of. I'm not mad. We'll take it. A third glowing enemy. On the same. Whoa! On the same floor. That's crazy. All right, and a way back up as well. Love to see it. Um, hit him. Just do as much as you can. Oh, oh, but she's acting freely again. There's power charge. I should put her in Orgia mode next turn. She's now use power charge. I won't lose. Garu. I think she needs an AOE move. I think that would really help uh, Metis. Like an AOE physical move. I think that would make her much better. Uh, I'm sure she will get it at some point, but... If she could get it soon, that would be good. I can't remember whether Herculean Strike is AOE. I get the feeling it isn't, but... If it is, that, that would be good. Nice. She, she's gonna get it. Fine. Power it up. Huge amount of damage. Yeah. 219 uh, just on a normal attack. I'm not going to use Patra. I do have Patra, but I'm not really that bothered. Kill. That Mattis could kill the one on low health again. Okay. There's another kill from Metis. We need stats at the end of this uh, from the game, like, you know, how many uh, things did Metis kill? How many things did, you know, Akihiko actually kill? So I suspect the answers would be Metis must have killed at least five times the amount of enemies Akihiko's actually killed. Still alive. I mean, in terms of damage, they're probably fine, right? It's probably more even. In terms of last hitting, Etis um, is quite consistently getting the last hit. Not on that one, though. No. Oh, I was thinking if she didn't recover, we got the last hit. Oh, well. Whatever. Still 1,292 experience. Metis levels up. And at level 45... She now gets Herculean Strike. Now, Gigantic Fist is also, I think, single target? <laughs> Wait, can I see Herculean Strike in here? I think I can only see my skills, but maybe I'm wrong. Herculean Strike. Yeah, I can only see my skills in here, unfortunately. I could look it up. I suppose I did have the window open like two seconds ago for looking up a different move. What's Herculean Strike? Herculean Strike P3. Uh, list of P3 skills. 
Herculean Strike. Deals medium strike damage to all foes. Wonderful. And then Gigantic Fist is heavy strike damage to one foe. In fact, I have realized that quite a lot of her ones come from this list. Anyway, uh, that's fine. So yeah, um, we now have an AoE move. We might as well head back, right? I mean, same kind of logic as before. It gets us um, healing. 47 for you. I'm starting to think that we could probably take the boss on. Maybe I'm being overconfident because we haven't seen the boss in like an episode. Yeah, I think we could. I think we can do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a save. I don't know why. I'm just gonna head back up. Just thinking about that. Yeah, we could just run down. Let, let's try using as little SP as possible and just run all the way down. Give it one shot. I don't even need to go back up. I was thinking, oh, I need to go back up so I can do something. No, no, I don't. I can just go. I could, in theory, go and fuse more things at the Velvet Room, but we didn't really level up that much. We already have the personas that are good for it, for us, so we're fine. Is the way down? Go that one entirely, or don't? Okay. Uh, well. That's horrible. Okay. Yep. Still fairly horrible. Uh-huh. This is fine. Shoot it. She doesn't say the line anymore. I guess she only says the line of that weapon. Well, that explains why I didn't hear it. Alright. That's fine. Good damage. And another one. And another one. This is fine. Uh, shoot it. And shoot it. There's the rule. And he's dead. Okay. Sorry, I had to go silent there for a second because a certain commercial device, which you say the name of and then it awakens, um, may have just uh, like piped up when I said I guess instead of uh, the, the name of that certain commercial device that I'm avoiding so it doesn't awaken again. And I was a bit confused at what uh, who was speaking inside the house. But anyway, we're, we're back. We're, we're back. We'll, we'll go down again. We didn't actually go like down a floor, so I felt like we might as well just head back up and then just walk down here. Do the run correctly. We think it's left. Uh, sorry, I meant to say right, but it wasn't. Definitely was not right. I think it might be left though, <laughs> given that information. Uh, oh, there we go. That was easy. We need to do eight floors of this. Okay. It's this way, down here. How sure am I at that it's this way? I'm fairly certain it's that way. I don't know why. This is horrible. Okay, okay. Uh... Oh, I almost made it past. Wait, for some reason that wasn't... Um... Yeah, that, that wasn't horrible. Okay. Uh, let's switch to Black Frost and hit it with two ice moves. That seems fine. You know what would be really useful here? The uh, ring that we had on the protagonist in the main game. The one that gives us SP. Because then we wouldn't have to do this running down to avoid using SP thing. We would simply just, like, you know, gain our SP back over time. I think that would be useful. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, shuffle time. Uh, I want XP. It's in the first slot. Still in the first slot. And now we have it. Wonderful. Okay. Golden enemy. 
wonderful. I also love the ranged attack, making the golden enemies so much easier than they were previously. Because um, you can attack from outside their vision range. It didn't die in one hit. That's crazy. Okay. That was dead. We got a supreme coin. Good. Should be another um, 25,000 XP. This is the wrong way. Good. Glad, glad that we um, fought all those enemies getting down this path. It was a long path. It definitely could have been the right way. I mean, it wasn't, but it could have. Uh... Woo! This way? That's an item. That's actually so funny. That's the item that we bought for Metis. Which means that what I said would happen happened in a way. We just ended up with another item for Metis. Although this one isn't actually an upgrade. It's a medium crit, which is actually a pretty good upgrade for a physical attacker. But still, it's very funny that she got the, the weapon that we bought. <laughs> After me saying it wouldn't happen. This, end, this floor has more enemies than usual. Are they all golden? That's pretty good. Oh, they are all golden. That's free money. And we can shoot them through walls. We should definitely do this. Okay, shoot it. Firing. I won't miss. Nice. This is just I'm free money. We might as well take it. Okay, um. There we go. It's gonna wait for us. We're gonna shoot it. Firing. We missed. I okay. Jeez, that one's fast. Well, it ran. That's fine. The enemy escaped. Everyone that we get is 25,000 uh, yen, so it's not bad. Shoot it. Got it. Okay. A rare form. Destroy it. Shoot it. You won't escape. Nice. That one was actually weak to it. I guess they all Incredible. have different weaknesses. All right. Well, they're all the same model, so how would we tell? <laughs> we get like two seconds to see. Rancid Bravey, I realize, is actually a worse, and it's a pretty bad item. It's actually a worse item than it is in the base game, because in the base game, there is a mechanic, even though it's not one that you would use that often, that you could use to uh, turn it into an item, like into a better item. But, um, yeah, given that we don't have access to that area, um, it's just garbage. Uh, we're going to explore the rest of this floor, because, for obvious reasons, it's free money. Excuse me? Um, that ran towards us, which makes up the fact that I shot A over its head, uh, like, five times. You won't escape. Okay, nice. Incredible. But yeah, this is just a free money floor, so we might as well take it. Um, it saves a lot of grinding on money. And a golden chest on it as well. I suppose it is a special floor, right? So yeah, it does have the increased golden chest chance. Uh, usually those are the floors that have more enemies than the enemies that actually attack easy. you, or it has no enemies. But yeah. Also, yes, of course, that does mean it's a death floor, which we already knew. But. Okay, Eye of Ice gives extra dodge to ice. That's probably useful for Akihiko. Uh, let's head over here first, though. No death spawn. Cool. Uh, we have a lot of coins now. Hey, you. What, what are you actually using? You're using the thing that gives you, like, 10% HP? Yeah. I think higher chance of dodge against ice attacks is much more useful. I think that's going to help us a lot. Also, how many coins did I get? We got six coins, so 150,000 some and change. That's pretty good. Uh, I think it's this way. I have a good feeling about it not being this way. Also, if you notice, the enemies de-aggro in this uh, a lot quicker than they do in the base game. I'm guessing it's because they've all been sped up. Like, maybe it also speeds up their um, aggro. Or maybe it's to allow you to actually run past them. It gives you a reward for being able to run past them, which is that they will de-aggro and you can move on with your life. Um, I'm just going off of instinct here. 
That was horrible. I was looking at the wrong dot on the map. This is honestly a pretty tame fight. Uh, for what it could have been. That's not that bad. Um, you're weak to ice, you're weak to fire, right? It's weak. Yeah, okay. Persona! Cool. And then hit it with fire. I need your help. Cool. The enemy is down. Now's your chance. All right, There's our all our attack. Cool. And they're dead. Solid. Good job. Um I'll take Len on City. I didn't get it, I got healing. Oh well. That's still good because Yukari wasn't full health and it saved us having to do a separate heal for her. Uh, wait, was this item free? Nope. Okay. Uh, this way? This must be the way. I mean, there's literally no other way to go, so... Somewhere along here is the way. Uh, must be this way? This is a huge floor. Just gonna check around the corner. Okay. No item. That's fine. Uh, what floor are we on now? Fifth floor. Okay. So, only a few more to go. Free item. And away down. It's only a gem, but gems are useful. We can use them at the uh, gem shop. I've noticed it gives us a lot of gems now. So, I'm assuming it, it's doing that because you're meant to use the gem shop a lot more than you did in the base game because uh, it's one of your only ways of getting a load of those items. That's a very generous set of floors it gave us as well. Oh, that's weird. Please be careful. This floor has more enemies than usual. Ah, that's a difficult one. In theory, that means we should probably grind on this floor. The reason we should probably grind is because that gets us um, a, like, a lot more XP than usual. We'll see. You weak to fire? Yeah, okay. Hit it. Nice. Let's do our all out attack. Uh, it should be close to the low health. Uh, like, close to half health. There we go. Everyone hits it and then we'll kill it on the next one. This is fine. We could just kill enemies as we go through here. I just don't want to do the boss without being on, like, good resources. I suppose last time, though, uh, we did have, like, people like Akihiko not be on full resources, so. It's not terrible. I don't like us being lower. I guess we could crash this egg before we go in. I don't know. We'll see. Cool. He's dead. We do a lot more damage than we did before, though. Um, I'll take a Taruka. I, I lost it. So I got ceramic legs, which I don't think actually helps us. Black Frost leveled up. Nice. Kukulain levels up, despite not having been used. Although Mazionka is pretty good. Something's about to happen to Growth 1? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> Growth 1 is incredible. Um, oh, and two level ups off of that as well. So that makes you 45. Okay, so you get Magarula next level. Okay, uh, that also makes you 45 as well then. And then Metis is also 45, I think. Yeah, so yours is in two levels. It might be worth just grinding. I mean, my brain is telling me it's better to just grind. Because, <laughs> you know, it's it's an opportunity you don't get too often, which is one of these floors. Although we have had two on the trip down, which makes it quite funny that I'm saying it doesn't happen too often. Okay. It's fire. Weird. So let's go fire. I, need your help. I guess if I'm going to grind, I'm going to use my SP. You know what we could do? If the allies have SP at the end of this, not us, the then we can do the bot. We can do an attempt at the boss because uh, we can use the precious egg to get ourselves full cool SP before the boss. Left. Yeah, that's fine. Hit it with Garu dice. Maybe we should have just used Garu to be able to kill it either way, but that's okay. Hit it. 
Also, if we could get an XP modifier, that would make this a lot better. Like, uh, shuffle time. Yeah, like, like the one in the second slot there. Still in the second slot. <laughs> there we go. So 2,600. See, that's why I'm kind of saying we should grind here, because that was a third of a level. So, as in for everyone else. So it definitely seems good. Oh, uh, that could be worth a lot. I heard an enemy aggro and thought it was this one. It was the enemy, I think, a over a wall aggroed based on the map. Four enemies. They uh, metal. don't know if we've Give seen these guys before, but target. shooting them should you get us off those crits here. So, uh, I'll take those. You won't escape. Yes, the enemy's down. Um, I don't know. Shoot this one. You won't escape. That's fine. She's gonna hit one of the ones where she gets a crit. She actually healed it. Oh no. Weak against ice. Oh, okay. Still That's fine. We got a shock on one as well. So, uh, kill. Oh, that wasn't a crit. Oh. Just two more to go. That's fine. You gonna kill it? It's, it wait. Is a crit if she? Oh, but she. Um. Yeah, um, I was gonna say it's a crit if she had attacked it, but no, it would have been a heal because of course yeah. she's using a weapon that would heal it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, would have loved an XP boost here. Guess we will take one of the weapons. Okay, I have wind. This gives you wind dodge. Useful for nobody. Okay, that's fine. These eye of items are new though, aren't they? So, I'm wondering if they were put in to cover weaknesses deliberately, so you could have people in your party who have, um, like, weaknesses. Um, as in, like, so you didn't have to level up multiple party members to avoid certain weaknesses. That's where my brain was going with that. Nice kill. Now, uh, we should be able to get the other two, no problem. AoE electricity. Defeated. Or two singles would do as well. Okay. Amazing, Don't know why you didn't go for the kill, honestly. Um, let's switch to Kukulain. We're after as much XP as possible, so even though this is a complete waste of SP, doing this will allow us to get the shuffle time, which would give us a better chance of getting um, yeah, an XP boost. A better at any time space. Although we could get a shut, we could we can get shuffle times in other people's turns, so that's fine. Right, uh, I let money. Cool. It was just the best option there. So level up for Metis. She gets a, n a new ability next turn, I think, or next um, level. Um, shoot it. Be careful. Firing. The enemy is down. Now your chance. Shoot it. Firing. You found the enemy's weakness. It's weak against ice. Uh, okay. Switch to Black Frost and hit it with ice. Three enemies left. Please be careful. There we go. I need your help. Made sure I hit the right one. I was careful, the as instructed. Let's go. Let's kill him. There's a lot more XP here. Let's go. No shadows detected. So, shuffle time. Um, I'll take the weapon. There we go. Phalanx B2 is a gun, but it's a gun that we've already replaced, which means it's a gun which isn't as good as the gun that we're using. I am going to explore more of the floor because... Um, well, one, that's a golden item. And two, um... One, two, um... Our other party member. Um, but two, we, we want to get as much XP as possible here. I actually don't know if we're going to kill it in two cycles here. We should, but it depends how much our all out is lowered by not having XP. Uh, we might. Yeah, she's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, we're, we're, we're at half HP. We might not kill it on the second, but we will um, kill it 
on the second round of combat. There we go. Hit it. Keep it up. Okay, let's go. And not dead. Okay. Well, that was dead. You just get normal XP, which is still 1,700. Wait, that gives you 1,700? I guess we get slightly boosted XP yes. because Akihiko wasn't in the fight. Also, uh, hey Yukari, uh, I got an item specifically for you. I got your summer outfit. Little weird, but okay. I mean, it is a lot of extra defense. Oh. I'll give you that. And it's a new outfit. For me, really? Oh, you're so sweet. That's kind of cool that those summer outfits are in there. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a lot more XP than I was expecting. We do get boosted XP due to not having Akihiko, because I think you get XP split between party members. There are two of them. But maybe those fights just give a lot more than I thought they, they did. Hmm, I don't know. I thought they, they gave disappointing XP, but maybe it's not as disappointing as I thought. Maybe it's just disappointing compared to effort in my head. That's fine. But we'll do them. Okay. At least when we're on these floors, we'll do them with the boosted XP. I guess on a normal floor, we're talking that's going to be like 800 XP. Which is a, a li you know, it's not as good. I would like the XP here, even though, yeah, it's, it's not going to get as, as much as we'd like, but that's alright. It's 1,200 still. <laughs> Akihiko My levels up. Improved. I know, I check every two seconds, because... Uh, mind like a goldfish. So he gets his next level, so that's about 8,000 XP away. Uh, you don't have yours yet? Oh, you do have yours, so you now have the AoE one there. Her next one is 52 and it's a full heal. Okay. It's good to know. And then Metis, your next one, is 48. Okay, so Akihiko is definitely the next one that we, we could get. Surprised it saw me. Okay. Beat to ice. We can hit him. Uh, I am thinking death should spawn soon. But uh, we'll be okay. Hit it. Nice. Let's go. I think if we get XP here, this one's worth like 2,000. Let's see. Well, we have XP. Second slot. Third slot? Fourth slot. Ah. It's worth 1,000 there. Well, if it's double, then that does line up to 2,000 XP. Okay. Uh, save and keep going. This one's huge. You gonna turn around? There we go. That was death spawning. Death spawn as we hit the button. Three enemies. You've surprised them. Okay, uh switch to Oh, first of all. Switch to or gear mode. Second of all, switch to uh Quetzalcoatl. And then Mankarula. This is our play here every single time. Um, we may have to go back up here. Depends on where... Um, that's also huge. Look at the damage he can do now. That's incredible. But yeah, we may have to go up here depending on where death spawns. If it spawned in front of us, we're fine. Also, we get to kill all three for a shuffle time. This has become a much easier fight. Yeah, okay. Turns out hitting all three with the Herculean strikes pretty good. Uh, I would like the third slot, although first slot is fine. That was really easy. Frost cap. Don't know what it does. Uh, we got a level up for Quetzalcoatl. Agility is huge. That's the one that um, affects your hit rate, so that's fine. Save. Uh, death spawns. So the question is where death spawns. Yeah. 
I heard it. Ooh, okay. We can play. We can play. There we go. We're fine. <laughs> Luckily, it spawned in one of the areas that we could actually avoid it on. If it didn't, we would have to run backwards. Did you hear the death sounds carrying on until this floor? That's worrying. <laughs> I know he can't follow you. In my head, I'm like, he can't follow you between floors, but, like, what if he does? Okay. Let's do a quick save. Uh, I know it's a longer episode, but given that we missed a lot recently, let's do a longer episode. Uh, we're gonna Precious Egg. We're gonna give this a singular attempt. Um, I might use my medicine here to heal up the party. Just to save us having to use SP to do that. Okay. I'm not gonna save. Was about to hit the save button, was like, that's not right. Proceed. Right, our plan here is slightly different than our previous plan. Our plan here is to kill the center one as quickly as possible. Which was our previous plan, but we're gonna participate. Basically is the difference, because we can now do extreme damage to it. Give me a okay. Sec. I'll scan the target. Tactics, you're gonna go straight into Orgia mode. Understood. Um, you're gonna go into heal support. Everybody else is good to go. Garudine. Actually, just for this turn, Yukari, you're on full assault. Garudine. Hit it. It evaded. Oh no. Well, that's fine. Electricity doesn't seem you know what the weakness is? You're Orgiaing. She might still use Heat Wave. Nah, she didn't. Okay, that's fine. Not Heat Wave, that's our one. She might have used um, her ability, whatever it's called. Um, it's called Herculean Strike. That's unfortunate. That's better. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Yukari-chan can't use her persona. I should probably use me Patra, right? Um, let's switch you to Act Freely and me Patra. That's the correct move. The move I wanted to do was try and attack the boss again, but I think this is the correct move because it then allows that to happen, and we're pretty much cool of health. We're good to go. Nice hit. She is going to hit it again, but it, it's going down in health quickly. Okay. Yukari got hit again. Then hit by fire again. She can heal now, though. She's dead. Alright. Um, bomb of life on Yukari. I know what I want Akihiko to do. Oh, he's knocked down, huh? Okay. Please wait. Oh, this is terrible. I might give it one more try. Yeah, let's give it one more try because that was um, terrible. <laughs> that was just truly awful, honestly. Uh, that just went badly. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. I think that um, where Yukari went in the turn order is a little annoying, but... I mean, it was fine because she got to stand up again, but I guess because she didn't heal, it was a bit annoying, and then she was locked out of a move. It's just not perfect. Right, let's go. Also, we missed the first hit, which is very annoying. So, uh, scan. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Garudine. Oh, wait. Uh... I still think him being on heal support is good. I don't think doing the move that I did with um, Metis was good. Because we didn't kill it quick enough, basically. The enemy is down. Now's, your chance. Uh, now's our chance to raise our defense. I, need your I think this is our ideal first turn. It does mean that Metis is only going to make it stand up again, but that's fine. Oh, there's my Garula, so she's actually going to make it stand up again. That's fine. We've almost done as much damage as we did in the entirety of the last fight. Herculean Strike? Okay. Does reflect back. Bit annoying. 
Okay. Hopefully she won't use it again. There's Rex Boon Nuts and lower the defense. Wrong target. Okay. Would have loved it if you'd healed instead, actually. That's just annoying. That puts her defense back to normal. Um, I'm going to... For gear mode, because we hit previously. Then I'm going to use Garudine. That hit. Nice. Then I'm going to re-raise our defense. There we go. Which should work. I think this works. There we go. Yeah, because it counts as a defense down just negates your defense up. Okay. The reason I did that is because if she doesn't get a heal this turn, I want her to survive. I didn't necessarily do it because I want the damage from this. I just want her to survive being hit. Hit a stand up. Okay. Does also make her immune to that, which is nice. Uh, she's the only one who is. That's really funny. Okay. Good. Uh, do I have a... I do have a Meepatra gem. Perfect. Let's chuck one. Okay. There's Karula. So she's trying to hit the weakness that she knows about. She's not too worried about her HP being low, which is fine. Yeah, good damage. Right. Karula again. Please hit. Ah. I mean, I guess we do have a higher chance of hitting. We are a higher level than we were the first time we did this fight, so... Yeah. It's, it's not unlikely that we're going to hit. I don't think there's a point in using Me Patra here, because if we use Me Patra, all we're going to end up doing is. Um, yeah, it gives us Akihiko's turn, and it makes Yukari not be Tentara food, but she's still out of it. So let's do this. I think it's much better to get a kill if we can. We didn't get the kill. Oh well. But you see, all she's going to do is stand up on her turn anyway. There's Garula. Okay. That hit. She gets another Garula. This isn't going to kill, but it's going to put him close. Yeah, that might be enough for Akihiko, actually. Okay, Akihiko. It's your time. Okay. Cool. That's... Good that that wasn't a damage move. That's annoying. Okay. I need to get the kill here. Let's do it. And it gave us another turn. Okay, now I'm thinking me Patrogen, but I'm also thinking I could just heal. I think maybe a medical powder onto Yukari is not a terrible move this turn. Do I have an AoE heal? No AoE heals. I could Magic Mirror. This would probably be fine for this turn. If all it does is block Tin Power through, all it does is block Tin Power through. But, I think this is fine. It might give us a turn to let her stand up. It might give us a turn to survive a damaging move. Let's see what happens. You're also going to lose our gear mode, I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay. All it does is block Tentarafu. Again, that's all we could hope for. He recovers? Don't Heal. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Yukari might live. He sacrificed himself. That's okay. Um, Bomb of Life. Definitely onto Akihiko. So Akihiko can now heal people. Yukari recovers. Makarula is not the correct move here. I should put her on healer mode, so she heals. That's annoying. He's still up. Okay, he's gonna heal Yukari. Okay. Tactics, Yukari, you're gonna go to healer now. Uh, we want to medical powder ourselves, so we don't die. And now she's gonna heal Akihiko. Nice. That might knock him down, but that's fine. 
lowered our attack. Honestly, not a huge problem right now. He has to stand up on his turn. My honor. Um, Please be careful. I think I can get away with a res on Metis. Take this. Just about. I think it, um, Yukari's going to AoE heal. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we want. And this is why having the AoE heal is so good. Because now we're full health. Lowered our accuracy. So we have lowered attack and accuracy. It's maybe not the time to attack the enemy. It's fine. It's lowering defense of that one. I'd love to kill the bird. Obviously we have no way of hitting the weakness outside of Black Frost. Power charge is interesting. I really hope she doesn't use the move that um, reflects. Give me a sec. Okay. I'll scan the target. Um. Now we need to think. <laughs> we we got past stage one. Now I think we raise our defense on it because we're not going to attack it this turn. Let's raise our defense. Right. We've got lowered attack. We've got lowered accuracy. Let's just try and get ourselves in a position where we're not dying. Thank you for the heal. We still have reasonable SP. We now know a weakness on that, which now we should be able to see it go into effect. Also, it should mean that she won't use Herculean Strike this turn. She did use Power Charge, so she's probably going to physical attack something. But we'll see. She might not. Yeah, she's just not going to use it. That's fine. And then she's going to double hit. This is okay. Not the end of the world. I don't think I'm going to Orgia mode her. Uh, I am thinking I'm going to switch to, um, oh, also, uh, you know, I freely is fine. Uh, I'm going to switch ourselves to, um, Black Frost, because Black Frost is just much better uh, type-wise here. Then, I could lower their defense. I suppose I could, I could lower their defense and raise our attack. Yeah, let's lower the defense. Hopefully our attack uh, debuff wears off next turn. And then I can raise our attack. Okay, self-heal is fine. Bufula not targeting um, Akihiko is good. So Akihiko finally gets a turn. He's now lowering the attack of this one, which is good because it applies a lot of damage to us. And now ice. Okay. Fade Ice. That's fine. Attack reverted. We actually we want to use Bufula this turn. I was thinking we were gonna buff attack, but we should wait till next turn so that everyone loses the debuff. There we go. Um yeah, that's not a great use of your turn, but okay. I love that you're using that on me again. That's Lord. Okay. You got higher accuracy again. Lowered the uh, damage of the other one. That's a, that's a good place to be. Ufula. Mm, that's another miss. Uh, defense reverted, but that's okay. We want to apply the attack buff to us this turn. Mm. Wondering whether I want to switch Akihiko to act freely, but I, I do like having Tarunda applied. I could switch... Yukari to act freely now that we've kind of got our healing sorted. And just switch her when I want her to heal. Hmm, maybe. That's fine. He stood up again because of that, and now he's going to heal himself. Okay. I really need you to hit your target. If you could just hit that target, I'd be real appreciative. Okay. Um, we should scan the other one while I'm here. Um, then I should switch back to Quetzalcoatl and raise our defense again. I'm going to switch you to act freely. I'm going to switch these both to act freely. Yeah, you're both on act freely now. Just for this turn. Then I'm going to raise our defense. Because everybody had the defense we're off now. This should be fine. Let's see what they do. I think we're going to attack. Yeah, there's Magarula. Which, because it's AoE, means it will try and attack two targets. And, because it's not the thing they're weak to, it will actually do damage to them. That's fine. Okay. Not ideal. 
I've regained my honor. Um, before. Nice. Do it again. Okay. Uh, switch back to Black Frost. Let's try for a... Oh, also I want to put somebody on healer. Let's put Yukari on healer this turn. But, um, let, let's try for a knockdown. Fire on the bird. Nice. Now we're going to hit the ice move as well. And then get an all-out attack. Ah, we didn't do it. Okay, well that's fine. Bird being down means that Akihiko is not going to... Um, yeah, it means that he's not going to drop this turn. That's full damage, but we do have increased defense. This is fine. Another AoE move just to do damage to the enemy. At a certain point, actually, like, searching for the weakness might not be the best play. You might want to just do damage, because if you can just do damage, like, you know, instead of having three turns where you miss and one turn where you hit twice, you can just hit four times. I don't remember whether ice gives you a better chance of, like, um, anything. But that's fine. Um, I'm going to try and hit ice on the ice one. Maybe it lowers their um, dodge. Seem to. Okay. Let's hit fire here. Nice. Now we can do an all-out attack. It won't kill the uh, wheel, but it will get us close. Okay. Yeah, I told you. It doesn't kill it, but gets us really close. Close enough that Yukari can now uh, snap a kill. Nice. Now it's four on one. The full on Yukari is not a problem. Now everyone can hit her. I might go Orgia mode here. Let's see. Fatal end. Huge damage. Oh, it was a power charged fatal end as well because she hadn't used a move since that previous time that she used um uh, that she power charged. Actually it wasn't power charged because she died in between. But anyway, that's fine. It still would have done damage. Shooting will not work. We've tried this previously. We could try knocking you down. I'd actually like the kill to be on Quetzalcoatl though, so let's do that instead. Uh and you know what? I'm gonna hit you with Garudine, because that will hit, right? This is probably better than trying for the weak ones. Yeah, it does damage. Okay. This might not have been the strat all along. It just hits it with a neutral move. Because then it doesn't get to dodge. Okay, or at least it doesn't get the same... It only gets normal dodge chance, which means you're likely to hit it. That gets you out of freeze, so perfect turn to Orgia mode. And then Fatal End for a kill. Not quite, but can we get a kill with Garudine? Nope. Garula. <laughs> that won't kill. Yeah, okay. That's its desperation move that we saw it use last time. That's fine. Alright, this is the kill. I can feel it. This is the kill. Alright, never mind. This is the kill. I can feel it. This is the kill. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, surely, right? There we go. We got it. Nice. We got 9,000 XP. We got a Thunder Element, a Fire Element, and an Ice Element, which I think are just, um, like, damaging things. We're level 48. Everyone gets a level up, including Akihiko. No? Wait, you didn't get a level up? Really? No, you got a level up. It just didn't tell us. Yeah, you got Matur Maturinda uh, now. So he gets Fist Master at 50, which increases the damage of um, his t like weapon, I think. So that's fine. Hello. Uh, you're 47. So you get your next one at 52. And then you should be 47, and you get your next one at 48. Yes. Okay, but you're really close to it, which is Gigantic Fist, which is a heavy move. 
Wonderful. Okay. Two precious eggs, that's two SP, and three bead chains. We um, came out uh, well ahead on resources. And let's head back. So, that gets us our heal. And we're back here. I think that that was, that was really good for us. I think that, that we achieved a very large amount towards our goals these uh, this episode. That's good. I'm also wondering whether, just because of where the XP is currently, and where we ended up in the final game, I'm wondering whether there's going to come a point where we kind of cap on the amount of XP we actually need to progress, and we can progress quicker because the new enemies coming in aren't actually causing us as much of a challenge. I don't know. We'll see. I guess we, we still need to come back here and, um, like, go to the Velvet Room and all that sort of stuff. So that's probably going to be our limiter, as in to get new personas, because it's slightly more difficult to get new personas in this mode than it is in the base game, because you don't have the compendium. But, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.